With all the violence, murders and police brutality in Night City, you might be surprised to learn that there's actually a prison. The prison isn't yet fully integrated with the game and is not used for any missions or gigs in Cyberpunk 2077, but I figured it would be nice to have a little bit of a snoop around and see what we can see. My name's Mike, you're watching Deconstructing the Game, let's get to it. So before we jump over the walls of the prison and explore, let's have a look at some unique dialogue between NPCs that are stationed around the prison, which makes me think that this was possibly meant to be within the game, fully integrated, and which might have involved gigs or missions. Prize, visiting hours cancelled again. These fuckers. So Hmm, let's see, maybe my skull sponge, the excuse of a dad who can't even get his own family to visit him? Don't ask me to come here anymore. It's a fucking waste of time. If he was a real father, he wouldn't have gotten himself thrown in jail. And then we come all this way, and he can't even bribe the guards? Die from yesterday, scream his lungs out already. Gunk's curled up on the floor now, won't even touch his food. His attorney dropped by, says it'll be ten years minimum. No parole. Ten years? For getting into a fight? Not just any fight. Beat up some corporal spawn, charged him with everything in the book. Ain't seen the light of day anytime soon, that's for sure. <laughs> Better keep an eye on him. Someone might want to help the poor Gong put himself out of his misery. So as you heard there, there's two sets of NPCs that talk about things going on within the prison. One wanting to see their dad and the other couple of police officers talking about a prisoner getting injured. So why is that important? Well, CD Projekt Red probably had dialogue in place when you're snooping around to prison to maybe break someone out or get in there or maybe you actually get arrested at some point and you have to break out. But that was never implemented in the game. All speculation of course, there's no proof, but they've gone out of their way to include that dialogue. There's also some bounce back crates hidden around in burnt out cars and dumpsters which suggests to me that you might have to use them when you're breaking out or engaging in a firefight. So again it's just speculation but if you look at some of the games a structure of like gigs and missions there's always bounce back readily available once you're fighting enemies and you have to get in or out of a place just by jumping on the lamppost and onto the street sign you can jump straight across to the guard tower and into this small parking lot where there's a couple of guys and a couple of trucks but there's nothing really interesting uh, until you get inside and there's like basketball courts and there's lots of people walking around fighting and playing basketball and just kind of walking around. The area does actually say it's hostile and you can engage in combat with the guards if you want, but there's no one around to really, you know, talk to. There's nothing to gain from that. Uh, maybe just some XP if you want to kill some guards. But if I remember correctly in a previous update the people in the prison actually had orange jumpsuits and it's a little bit annoying because I did do a twitch stream when I went in here before and I'm pretty sure they had orange jumpsuits so I might be misremembering that but I'm definitely thinking they had orange jumpsuits at some point so the NPCs have changed which is very very strange possibly they're updating things as things go along but they're just carbon copy NPCs they're just copied across the board much like the guards they're the same person, I think it's the same character from Clouds, I think his name's Tom. A lot of the mercs tend to have his face on them. Uh, there's a smaller section to the prison, a uh, basketball court, people kind of engaging in uh, combat hand-to-hand -hand and playing basketball and indeed sometimes meditation. So these areas are quite bare, there's only NPCs and basketball courts, but I'm thinking at some point this might become available or should have been available with a couple of stories attached to it. There is a mission in Cyberpunk where you speak to a guy who has just come out of prison. That's a very disturbing mission and I won't go into much detail about that. But uh, yeah, I thought this is a pretty interesting area to explore, guys. There's multiple ways you can get into this and have a snoop around, so feel free. I did try and get on top of what I can only assume is the main cell block tower. 
in the middle of these two exercise yards by using the car glitch uh, floating method that I've become accustomed to whilst playing on the console. But unfortunately there's nothing to glitch through, it's all solid and you can walk on top of it and from what I can tell there's nothing inside it just yet so it's just an empty shell. In other news I have just got my hands on a Series X so the quality of the gameplay should improve especially with the next gen version of the game. So yeah and hopefully there'll be a rig coming soon so we can compare all of the platforms for Cyberpunk and see what is the best one and see what uh, differs between uh, patches and things like that. So you never know, uh, things are moving along and uh, the more ideas I have uh, the more th videos I will produce. If you like the content you've seen so far you can check out some other content on the YouTube channel. I also have a Discord which I will link in the video below and we can all chat about cyberpunk and bounce ideas off each other if that is what you want to do but in the meantime guys thank you for watching hope you enjoyed it and as always i'll catch you later